how you doing today? This is your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with a very special guest. It is Joshua Barch, the CEO of Midasine Innovations. How are you doing today? I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you for being here. Now, Midasine Innovations is a life science parent company dedicated to the development and production of adaptive pathway medicine, natural health, and digital health solutions stemming from fungi, otherwise known as mushrooms. Can you give us a brief overview of the company and the different areas of your business? Absolutely. So Midasin uh, Innovations Group is broken down into what we call three divisions. So two were brought on by way of acquisition um, over the last few months. And then the other one was uh, in-house. So you have Midasin Health Sciences, um, which is our IP branch. So that's headed by our CSO, Rob Roscoe, who was formerly uh, the head of genetics for Canopy Growth. And before that, um, was the head of genetics for a company by the name of Ebu, which was acquired by Canopy Growth in 2018. Um, that's revolving around a number of different, really unique IP sets, uh, both in the psychedelic realm as well as in the functional mushroom uh, realm as well. Neurofarm is a company we acquired um, and actually closed on uh, just a couple months ago. So Neurofarm is a very interesting company that's comprised of upper echelon, both current and former mental health experts um, from various military constituencies, ranging from uh, the Canadian military to the EU military and obviously the US military as well. Um, and what their focus is on um, is utilizing psilocybin and psilocin uh, to, in, in conjunction with very proprietary treatment and therapy sessions uh, for the treatment of PTSD, both in veterans and EMS workers. And then the well-rounded end of, of, of that is our last division, which is MindLeap Health. Uh, MindLeap Health is a very exciting telehealth platform uh, that combines mood um, and emotion coupled with mental health solutions in a very intuitive way and predictive way um, that solves a very large problem um, for mental health and specifically the follow-up of these various treatments that uh, individuals are undergoing using different psychedelic treatments. So um, obviously we're very excited about that as well. And what sets Midasine apart from other psychedelic medicine companies? So I think there's a, a couple of things. Um, one of which is obviously the, the, the management and the individuals involved ranging from um, our extensive scientific advisory team and obviously our core management, each and every one of our core management has had incredible successes in previous businesses, ranging from consumer packaged goods products, um, obviously in the, in the um, educational field and different various applications for um, emerging market growth companies, whether that be cannabis or also alternative forms of wellness. Um, and then obviously in the scientific realm, I think that our scientific advisory team really is, is world-class and world-renowned and definitely sets us apart. The secondary piece of that is really our pointed focus and our capabilities that we've been able to accomplish. So Midasin right now under a, a very robust Health Canada license that's attached to an incredible multi-hundred million dollar lab, we're the only company in, in, in the world that has the full ability to go from A to Z on psychedelic mushrooms. We have a license amendment that allows us to do full cultivation on site, all the way to R&D, all the way to extraction and proprietary methodologies. And then that's attached to a CGMP pharmaceutical manufacturing lab that then gives us the ability to actually spit out whatever our formulations are, whether we're doing a compound pharmacy standpoint for other companies and or developing our own proprietary formula for our clinical uh, trials in-house. So something that's very, very unique and not a lot of people have the ability to do or will have the ability to do. I love telemedicine and I love what you guys are doing, bringing two of the hottest sectors together. I think it's genius. Now, Midasine's telehealth app, MindLeap, is officially launching tomorrow. Super excited about that. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Absolutely. So MindLeap, like I said, is the first application that combines telehealth medicine for mental health with mood and, and emotion tracking. So MindLeap, through its different touch points in AI software, is able to track your, your daily habits, whether that is how much exercise you're getting, how much sleep you're getting, things that are just so important to your overall mental health, and then track that on a daily basis and is able to 
put out a predictive score for you and then intuitively uh, connect you with the correct therapist or mental health professional to be able to aid you in your uh, mental health journey to ultimately try to be the best you or the most successful person um, in the long term. Additionally, something very unique and as it pertains to psychedelics, when you're taking a psychedelic or undergoing a psychedelic treatment, whether that's therapy or a different regimen on your own, um, et cetera, some of the most important aspects of that and results of that happen sometimes weeks or month af months after your actual treatment. So the aftercare is equally, if not more important than the actual psychedelic treatment. So for us, giving you the tools and giving you an intuitive platform that you're able to connect with mental health professionals around the globe that are professionals in securing and, and in translating whatever you underwent into real life successes is just so important and there was no solution to that. So we have over 30 specialists already uh, ranging in different expertise that are actively using the application and connecting with different patients in our beta phase. And like you said, we officially launch uh, tomorrow, which we're incredibly excited about. Now, the company has several clinical trials coming down the pipeline in the coming months. Can you tell us a little bit about those? Sure. So given our constituency uh, from Neurofarm, which is just incredibly um, impressive, ranging from Dr. Rakesh Jetley, who is the COO of Neurofarm, who's currently the head of psychiatry for the entire Canadian Armed Forces, as well as NATO, um, all around the globe with upper echelon individuals, um, basically on the same level as him. We were able to obtain a number of partnerships um, throughout the globe that gave us a very unique um, set of approvals. So for the first time in the world, we had an approved PTSD clinical study. Um, starting on that study, we'll be start launching at Leiden University Hospital in the Netherlands in conjunction uh, with the Royal Dutch Army for veterans with PTSD. That study will be utilizing a single synthetic molecule of psilocybin in multiple macro doses with the hopeful outcome to prove that psilocybin is actually efficacious and, and um, is a viable treatment for PTSD. Anecdotally, we know in various studies that it is by far, to our opinion, the most successful format of treating PTSD. What the success rate could be uh, in excess of over 80%. So wow. secondly, we have additional test sites we'll be, that, that we'll be announcing here in the very near future, ranging from very prestigious Canadian universities and, and the hospitals, also very prestigious U.S. universities with some of the top PIs in the world as it pertains to PTSD and specifically military and EMS frontline workers um, in various constituencies. So something that we're very, very excited about. The second clinical that we'll be launching, we'll be looking at the difference between our, our single molecule, which is very proprietary to us, uh, naturally derived psilocybin, up against a single molecule synthetic format of psilocybin, and then also a very unique patent that we just recently filed combining psilocybin and MDMA and any other uh, tryptamine as well, which we think is gonna be incredibly successful for the use of, of, of PTSD for various reasons. Wow, you guys are doing a lot of great work. Congratulations on all your success so far. Now, in August, Midasine launched the world's first natural sourced CGMP psilocybin for global research, sales, and distribution enterprise. What is the significance of this milestone? So, like I just touched on, there, there's an open-ended argument as to what is more effective for the treatment of various indications, whether that's a synthetic form of psilocybin, much like a compass is using, or a naturally derived psilocybin actually extracted from the fruiting body of various psilocybin producing mushrooms. So currently, if you look at things such as cannabis um, and some of the work that our science team did at EBU, which is uncover basically the other tryptamines that are found in that plant when coupled with THC and then being able to um, have that result in a predictive outcome by different ratios of the various other tryptamines. This is known as the entourage effect. So in the naturally derived psilocybin, there's a lot of other tryptamines that ultimately are having adverse or synergistic results on psilocybin as a formal outcome. So for us, we're diving into the plant and we think that there's a huge benefit of using a naturally derived psilocybin, whether that's a single molecule and or specific ratios, 
as opposed to just a synthetic lab-made psilocybin. So for us, we're the first people that are going to actually be able to launch and solve that problem. Um, but also, if there is added benefits, which we strongly think that there are, we'll be able to uncover that. Wow, that's impressive. Now, Midasine has quite a roster of experts. Who are your key members and what do they bring to the table? Sure, and absolutely. I think, I think our team um, you know, definitely sets us apart. Um, you have our COO and our CSO, Damon Michaels and, and Rob Roscoe, um, who both, again, were, were management team of a company by the name of Ebu. Ebu was really the first pharmacology uh, side of things for the cannabis. They built the first pharmacology lab ever that was dedicated to actually uncovering what's really going on in the cannabis plant. They developed an IP portfolio of over 48 patents. Ultimately, that company was acquired by Canopy Growth in November of 2018 for $429 million based on their inventions. So being able to um, take them on and, and bring them to our field, which is a ton of synergies between cannabis and, um, and psychedelic mushrooms, as well as functional mushrooms, specifically from an IP standpoint, is obviously a huge benefit for us. Additionally, when you look at the team at Neurofarm, the, the constituency at, at Neurofarm really is incredible. So you look at somebody like Dr. Rachel Ayuda at NYU, one of the, the, the number one um, forces to be reckoned with in PTSD and is, is responsible for some of the most monumental discoveries as it pertains to alternative medicine um, and applications towards PTSD. Obviously, she's a very strong believer in what we're doing here and, and the potential of psilocybin is incredibly excited to be on the team. I touched on Dr. Rakesh Jetley and, and who he is as a person and who he currently is and how he's, you know, the, the head of psychiatry for the entire Canadian Armed Forces and also chairs a number of research groups at NATO throughout the globe. Um, obviously, we're very excited about him as well. And then also, you know, to couple that with our MindLeap team. MindLeap team is, is young, hungry entrepreneurs that have been incredibly successful in both the software and, and IT world over their past endeavors and then now have really jumped down this path to solve a huge problem that I think that they're going to be very successful in. So if you couple all of us together, we, we bring a multifunctional, very diverse management team that's also working towards an incredible uh, purpose and an incredible goal that we're very passionate and excited about. Now we've got a community of investors that are looking for undervalued, underappreciated, underexposed opportunities like Midasine Innovations. What should investors look out for for Midasine Innovations next? So I think that uh, there's a number of things. We have, obviously, we, we, we keep our cards very close uh, to our chest. Anytime that you're in an IP world that, that, like we are, in a clinical world like we are, it's not something that you want to just go out and talk to everybody about. So there's a lot that goes behind the scenes that we feel has massive upside potential. The marketplaces that we're, we're dealing with have huge goals in them, specifically PTSD. And when you're dealing with military constituencies, et cetera, they're constantly looking for more viable solutions and then giving you easier and quicker pathways to successfully accomplish that if you have a viable solution. To us, there's not a single thing on the planet right now that is more promising towards solving that goal than psilocybin as it pertains to you know, coupling that with therapy for PTSD. We strongly and firmly believe that we will be the first and be the most successful in accomplishing that goal. Additionally, some of our other IP that's coming out, and you'll, you'll see some of the partnerships that we're going to be announcing here very soon, are very late stage in the development and something that will e easily and quickly catapult us to the front of the line further than we already have been able to accomplish in such a short time. So I hope that answers your question. Yeah, a lot of our investors already started getting into the stock, just so you know. They're very excited about the upside of this company. What is the best way for investors to get in touch with you if they have a question or if they're interested in, you know, learning more directly from the company? Sure. So if you go to our website, uh, which is minuson.com, that will have a full investor presentation that goes much more in detail than I was able to do in such a short time. So they can really dive into some of the details, some of the additional clinical test sites, also read the bios from our, our scientific advisory team, which is over 30 PhDs that we're incredibly excited about. Um, and additionally, it will also have a contact information for them to direct connect, uh, directly connect with the company through our investor relations team that will answer any questions directly and or give them a further rundown um, of anything that, they, that we could potentially help them with. That's fantastic. Well, thank you for joining us today. I know you're 
on location today, so we weren't able to actually see you face to face. Maybe in the future we can do it face to face. But we appreciate you joining us, the CEO of Midasine Innovations, a new company that we are bringing to our community now that we think has incredible upside, taking two of the hottest sectors in the world, psychedelics and telemedicine, and combining it. I think it's brilliant. And I wish you all the best of luck in your future endeavors. CEO of Midasine Innovations, Joshua Barch. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate it. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere. And thank you for watching. Have yourselves a nice day.